Welcome to this video where we're going to talk about morning drop-off and afternoon pickup procedures at Forest Park. First, let's talk about morning drop-off. So here's an aerial shot of Forest Park. Here's the main entryway where cars and buses will come in. Similar to years past, we're asking that cars come in the right lane, stay in this outside lane as you proceed into the campus. Buses will utilize the left lane since they'll be turning in towards the school. Here's what parent drop-off looks like. Again, the cars will come down the right lane, the outside lane. They'll pull into this parent loop, staying in the right lane. Students can enter the building from door 15 if they're being dropped off by car. So that means that parents can pull along anywhere here on the right curb. This is all sidewalk or crosswalk. Uh, you can drop students off and they can proceed to door 15. So even if there is a backup and you're in the right lane, Parents can drop off back here. Kids can safely walk around into the building. After you do drop off, you can use the right lane or the left lane to exit. Just please be aware of students that might be utilizing crosswalks and then cars can exit the campus. Buses will enter using the left lane and they'll go to the fourth curb brake. This fourth curb brake is the entryway to the bus loop. Only buses should pull in this bus loop that goes right up to the front of the building. Buses should pull up near the main entrance here. They can drop off here, or if there's more buses coming in, they can pull up further here. Students can get out and walk along the sidewalk to the main entrance to get into the building. When those buses are done, then they simply just exit the campus. Let's take a look at afternoon pickup. Similar to the morning, cars again will stay in the right or outside lane, utilizing the parent loop. Parents can start to line up in this right side outside lane Near door 15, students that are being picked up can come out this door. They can walk along here to find their parent vehicle. Parents can park in the parking lot. Students, there is a crosswalk here that students can come to the parking lot. This parking lot also has exits into the parent loop here so that cars can safely go out in the left lane after they've picked up their student. Again, please be aware of students that may be crossing. Uh, please drive safely through this parent loop. When those cars are done, then they can simply exit the campus. When buses pull in, again, they will utilize the fourth curb brake to pull into the bus loop. When buses are arriving after school, they'll be lining up three across to fill in all available space. Students will exit out of these entrances and find their bus. It may take a little while the first few days as they learn roughly where their bus is located, uh, but they will find and board their bus. When buses are boarded, traffic will be stopped here. So all vehicles that are still in the parent loop will be asked to wait. Again, please don't block any of these entryways if you are waiting. These buses will then proceed to exit, starting with the bus here will go first, then the middle bus, then the curbside bus. This allows the buses to have a wider angle to turn. Once all buses have exited, then traffic can resume for leaving the campus. Here are some other considerations to think about for drop off and pickup. Again, please do not block any of these entryways. Vehicles may be coming in late uh, or we may need vehicles to leave. That also includes over here, there's a staff parking lot back in this area. There may be vehicles that do need to leave after school. So please don't block this area if you're waiting for parent pickup. Similarly, don't block any of the entryways to any of the parking areas or up here in the front of the school. This parking lot directly in front of the school is visitor parking. This is for medical need drop-off only. If you have a student that has a medical need, uh, that should be the only type of drop-off occurring here. We're asking that parents do not pull in here in the morning. This will just create congestion and backups along this main entryway. So please parents utilize this parent loop. Similarly, please do not utilize the ECC parking. This creates too much congestion and we also do not want students crossing the main entryway to get over to Forest Park. So again, please utilize the parent loop and then exit when you're finished. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Please share this with other parents uh, so that we can provide a safe environment for all students and help to keep everyone safe. Thanks.